Let's say that preferences are homothetic. Then something really interesting will always hold. Just pick out an arbitrary bundle, such as this one, 10,5 in my example, and draw an indifference curve for this bundle. If we denote this bundle by x1, x2, then the slope of the indifference curve at this point is MRS and it depends on x1 and x2. Let's draw a straight line through the origin and my arbitrary bundle. If I pick any other bundle on this straight line, like this one, if preferences are homothetic, then MRS at this point must be the same. Since both bundles are located on a straight line through the origin, I can always denote this new bundle by CX1, CX2 for some positive constant C. There will be another indifference curve through this new bundle. And the slope of the indifference curve here is MRS now CX1, CX2. So here's the point. If preferences are homothetic, then the slope of the indifference curve at x1, x2 must be the same as the slope of the indifference curve at cx1, cx2, no matter which value for c we pick. That is, these two must be the same. Of course, this is not true in general. It's only true if preferences are homothetic. It's not hard to prove that this must be the case. The slope of the indifference curve at CX1, CX2 is by definition minus the partial derivative with respect to the first good of the utility function evaluated at CX1, CX2 divided by the partial derivative with respect to the second variable of the utility function evaluated at the same point. MRS is equal to minus the ratio of marginal utilities. Well, if preferences are homothetic, we know that the utility at CX1, CX2 is C times the utility at X1, X2. So I can write this as partial derivative like this, C times UX1, X2, over partial x2 c times u x1 x2 the constant goes outside the derivative and they cancel after removing the constant c we have an expression minus the ratio of two marginal utilities now evaluated at x1 and x2 so this is precisely the mrs at x1 and x2 so these must be equal. This holds for any straight line. If I draw another straight line like that, then the slope here and the slope here must be the same, even though it may not look like that the way I have drawn the indifference curves. Since MRS is constant along a straight line from the origin when preferences are homothetic, the income offer curve when preferences are homothetic must be straight lines as well. Let's remove some stuff here so we can easily see why this is the case. So let's say that this is my initial budget line, such that my x1, x2 bundle is the optimal bundle. If I increase income, the budget line will shift outwards, but the slope will not change since that only depends on prices. So here is a new budget line where I've only drawn parts of it. Here is my conclusion. This point right here must be an optimal bundle for this new budget line. Why is that? Well, simply because that point must satisfy the first order condition. Remember, since preferences are homothetic, the slope of the indifference curve at this point is the same as the slope of the indifference curve at this point. And since the slope of the budget lines are the same, the slope of the indifference curve at this new point must be equal to the slope of the budget line at that point. So the first order condition must be satisfied. The same thing will be true for any point along this straight line. The first order condition must be satisfied and any bundle on the straight line must be an optimal bundle 
If optimal bundles are unique, then the straight line must be the income offer curve. Also, the angle curve where we draw income along one axis and the demand for one good along the x-axis. They need to be straight lines through the origin as well. As you can see from the income offer curve, if you double income, for example, it must be the case that you double consumption of both good one and good two, and therefore the angle curve will be a straight line through the origin. A quick summary of what we know about homothetic preferences. Homothetic preferences is a class of preferences that contains Cobb-Douglas preferences and preferences representing goods that are perfect complements and perfect substitutes. Not all preferences are homothetic. For example, quasi-linear preferences are in general not homothetic. If preferences are homothetic, then the proportion of income spent on each good is constant and independent of income. If a user has homothetic preferences, then neither good is luxury nor necessary. This means that income offer curves are all straight lines through the origin. It also means that angle curves are straight lines through the origin.